Now, Heidi, your kids, they all play, they all play soccer. Are you an intense soccer mum? Do you no, scream I'm, on the sidelines? I'm not like the other parents screaming. I'm not. Really? I mean, I'm cheering for them if they're doing a good job or even if they're not doing a good job. But I'm not really into sports, sorry. I mean, I only watch when I have to. When my kids are playing, I'm totally into it. Yeah. But otherwise, no, not so much. May the best one win, is what I always say. See, I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> no, may the best one win. Did you see that? Always win. I mean, it's different if you know someone in a team, then you're rooting for them. But if you don't really know anyone personally, I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> I don't. Wow. What about you, Tanya? You have three children. Do they take yeah. after you? Are they young performers or are they into oh, sports? Oh, I try and steer them away from acting, but um, I, I, I wish I could be more like them, actually. I mean, I, obviously, I've had something to do with the way they are. But, like, my eldest, she's 17 now. Yeah. But when she was 15, I think one of the proudest moments um, being a mother, she was in the theatre, she was going to see the Harry Potter play, and uh, Boris Johnson, one of the architects of Brexit, was yes. in the audience, and Brexit had just been passed two days before. Yeah. And uh, friends of mine who were taking my daughter Ripley to the theatre, they called me a couple of days after they went to the theatre and said, Tandy, what did, what did Ripley say to Boris Johnson? Mm. And I was like, what are you talking about? And uh, they said, well, yeah, just before the curtain went, went up, Ripley walked over to, sit to where Boris Johnson was sitting in the audience, had a few words with him, came back, sat down, the lights went down, and we didn't have a chance to talk about it. I was like, I don't know. So Rip came back from school, and I said, you know, Rip, did you, did you go and talk to Boris Johnson in the theatre a couple of days ago? She was like, yeah. <laughs> I said, all right, well, you what know... What did you say? What, well, what did you say to him? She's like, well, what, you want to know exactly what I said? I said, well, sure, yeah, let's start there. And she said, well, I just went over and I said, uh, hello, Mr Johnson, my name is Ripley Parker and I just wanted to tell you that you're a <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs> and uh, and walk back to her seat like non plus. But what I love about it is that she didn't think that was something worth talking so about. Yeah. I would have been like, everybody, guess what I did? But she's just like, well, you know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, Casual. Factually accurate, also. That's the truth of it. Well, here's the thing we did have a little chat about, you know, to use the C word. Mm. I was going to say, my kids can't even say damn. No, but I mean, just in, in, you know, the fact that it's a woman's particle and maybe we should, you know, not to use it in a derogatory fashion. And she's like, yeah, but that's, that's the language he understands. Wow. <laughs> well, there we go. I mean... So, yeah, I, I, I... They take after me, like, this much, but I wish... To... I'm not sure. It sounds like they take they after you quite from... a lot. They must get it from someone. Yeah. They get it from someone. Now, Zatan, your wife and kids, they'll be moving out to Los Angeles soon. Yes. Um, You've moved around a lot in your whole career. Do you find it, is it hard to, for them to, to pick up and move and go to other countries? Uh, I mean, they're used to it now. Uh, in one place, we stay maybe two, three years, and then I'll be moving around. I feel like Indiana Jones. <laughs> I, go, I go on my adventures and collect my treasures. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is the new adventure, sure. collecting my treasures here. So they're used to it. The only thing with... My two ninjas is that as soon as they get some friends, when they get to know them for real, we need to move on. Yeah. yeah. So that's the only thing, but they have themselves. They're pretty close age between them and 10, 11, so they're best friends and they're brothers, so they're stronger than everybody else, Aww. even than me. <laughs> Wait, no, hang on, hang on. Did we... Have we got that on public record that I think that's the first time Zlatan has ever said that someone may be stronger or better than him in some way. I think that was... <laughs> that was an amazing moment. What a breakthrough for all of us. Wow, <laughs> Zlatan, I mean, he's done it. He's done it.